QuickBooks Desktop Options 2021. If you're deciding to use QuickBooks for your accounting needs, there's two major categories you want to think of first. One, do you want to use the desktop version or a desktop version, or do you want to use an online version or cloud version? We talked about that major decision in a prior presentation. If you choose the desktop version, then you can narrow down in terms of what your best needs are for the desktop version. That's what we'll talk about now. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks. The first option we want to consider and the one we recommend for working through the practice problem in this course if you do not already have access to QuickBooks Desktop is going to be to download the 30-day free trial that QuickBooks offers. Now at this point in time they only have the 2020 version that will help you to get started. Hopefully they'll have the 2021 version out soon. They do have the 2021 version out for purchase so you can use this to work through and hopefully they'll have it updated soon. Now to find that you can go to your favorite uh, browser here and you would type in, I think the best thing to type in is download 30 day trials of QuickBooks desktop. It is from Intuit. Intuit is the owner of QuickBooks. Note that if you type something different in, you might find the, the version of the online version free trial, completely different thing. You want to make sure you have the desktop version. You should have something that you would actually download to your computer as opposed to working it on the cloud. And they have the license basically numbers here. Okay, so that's going to be the the, the uh, downloadable free trial version. Now let's go to Intuit's uh, normal purchase versions. For this, I would go to the Intuit website. Now you could purchase QuickBooks at other locations, but Intuit is the owner of QuickBooks. So this is going to be going to the owners, going to the source. So that's Intuit, I-N-T-U-I-T dot com. They have different kinds of softwares available here. We're going to be looking in at the QuickBooks. Now, I think the easiest way to get there is to then scroll down all the way to the bottom of this page once you're in the QuickBooks page. And then in the bottom, they have a list of their products. Now, the product that we want is going to be the QuickBooks Desktop. I'm looking for a QuickBooks Desktop Pro. We're going to be working on the Windows-based computer. They have updated the Mac when, uh, QuickBooks as well. So, they're, you know, that should be, they're putting time into the Mac version as well. We're going to be using the Windows version. So then we go down, these are going to be the three major categories that they have here. Now, there's a bit of a difference because it used to be that Pro was just kind of like Pro, right? Now they got Pro Plus. What does it mean to be now Pro Plus in the 2021? That means they're trying to move over to that subscription model. So you still have it downloaded to your desktop as normal, the desktop version would be, but they're trying to make it so it's going to be renewed each year so that they have it on basically that subscription model, which it looks like they like very well which is one of the reasons that, you know, they like the online model because it's on that subscription type of basis. Now, if you just want to download it to your computer, if you go down to the bottom, they still have Pro down here, but you can see they're clearly not advertising it as much because they put it down in the bottom. So if you, if you want to just download the one time QuickBooks Pro and then have it, you might, you can have it for multiple years. The reason why you might want to do this, it costs more to do that. But then if you don't need to update your software from year to year, meaning the updates that Intuit makes, they make updates each year, but a lot of times they're not significant to what you are doing at that point in time. So you may be able to use the same software for multiple years, and therefore it could be worthwhile to purchase just a one-time fee and use the same software for multiple years. Now in 2021, they made substantial differences to the bank feeds. So if you use bank feeds, it might be worthwhile to, to change if you do something like QuickBooks or some of the inventory tracking then you might have to update each year. But if you just have basic bookkeeping needs, then, you know, you can use older software that, you know, the quick, any, you know, pretty older uh, QuickBooks desktop versions would do the basic kind of stuff that you would need to put your information into the system and make the financial statements with it. All right. So now let's go to go back up top. Notice that the big bucket that they, that they're looking at is the pro plus. So that's clearly the one they are advertising. This one over here is simply pro plus plus payroll. So that's the one that they're calling their best seller. And it's just Pro Plus. It's the same thing as the one to the left. Payroll is an add-on type of feature. So it's a purchase up. It's a buy up, sell up type of thing that needs to happen. So this isn't a different whole software package. It just means you're going to add the payroll to it. If you were to purchase QuickBooks Pro Plus here without the payroll, then you can typically add the payroll at any point in time. You just have to add or tack on then the payroll at that point. And then the enterprise is going to for, be for those people that have the more substantial needs. So most users of QuickBooks will fall into the bucket of Pro Plus. So once, if you're using QuickBooks, the question is, do you want online version, desktop version? 
If you're going desktop version, most people will fall into the bucket of Pro Plus or they can use Pro if you want the one-time uh, purchase. They're in essence the same, but the Pro Plus is moving towards the subscription model to renew each year, which is what Intuit is clearly kind of pushing for. If you have special needs or needs over and above what are in Pro Plus, then you would go to the Enterprise. But Pro Plus is like the big bucket where most people will fall if they're using uh, QuickBooks Enterprise would be those individual or companies that are, are scaling up or have special types of needs. So let's go through these a little bit more. We're going to say they have a 30, 33% off of the first year, 26% off the first year, and so on. This is an annual subscription, annual subscription. So they're going to that subscription model, even though it's a desktop and you will, in essence, have the software on your computer. It'll look and feel, you know, the, the same as the old QuickBooks. You know, it's, it's on your desktop and whatnot. Uh, even though they're moving to the subscription model. So includes these features. Unlimited customer support. Uh, the, the support for customer support, if it's a technical thing, could be quite good. If you need bookkeeping assistance, then you might want to look into QuickBooks Pro Advisors and whatnot. Uh, more hit and miss in terms of, of accounting questions from QuickBooks. But uh, technical support, good. Access to latest features, security, patches, and updates. So that's what you get with the subscription now. They're going to give you, you know, those updates and patches that you'll have to, you know, you'll down, it'll download to the software that's on your computer as you go. Automated uh, uh, data backup and recovery. So that's nice because they're going to try to make the data backup more automatic, even though you have the desktop version as opposed to the online version. Uh, QuickBooks Desktop Mobile App Based Receipts Manager Managements. This is a new kind of thing. They've had it for the online version. It's neat because it has a, a phone app that you can take a picture of the uh, of the receipts. They do not have this on QuickBooks Pro, only Quote Pro Plus. I, I don't think it's really a, that big a deal, actually. I mean, it's kind of nice. It's kind of neat. But I think a lot of bookkeepers, it doesn't really affect their normal bookkeeping process unless, you know, they're, unless you're doing cash sales or something like that. Where, and, you're, you know, you want to take a picture of the receipt all the time if you got a audit trail type of sales where you're doing sales on credit cards and checks and whatnot then you may already have a sufficient audit trail but anyways that's a new feature here and then we have the uh, includes organize your business finances uh, track performance uh, to inform decisions and allow access for up to three users now this is one of the the big items here because uh, you want to be able to set up possibly different users in the QuickBooks account and, and maybe even giving different access to to the user. So this is often one of the kind of limiting factors that could be in play uh, as you move to to a larger version of the software, such as over here, uh, choose from, di you, you might have more users. We'll get to that in a second, but that's one of the limiting factors. We have this simple setup and easy to use, quickly imports data from Excel, Quicken, and more. So you can import the data from Excel oftentimes for things like uh, the customers or the vendors and whatnot. And we'll talk more about that as we go. Then uh, payroll, obviously tax on the payroll. So that's basically going to be QuickBooks plus the payroll. Uh, here, obviously, the payroll is an add-on feature. So if you look at the if you look at the payroll, pay employees and e-file taxes, easily pay employees, file taxes, and get uh, instant W-2. So if you do have payroll needs, you, you're going to have to want to think about, you know, what are you going to do with payroll? Do you want to do payroll through your accounting software? You don't have to because you might do the payroll in a third-party software with something such as a uh, an ADP is a big payroll company or Paychex are two of the bigger payroll companies. If you want to do it yourself through the software, then you still have to pay, you're going to have to pay, you know, for the add-on. And then you can think about getting the support from Intuit to do that. You, you don't really want to do payroll manually. There is often a manual kind of option in QuickBooks, but payroll is difficult enough to this point, even if, even if you only have a couple employees, that you really want to have, you know, pay for either the, the add-on for QuickBooks or have a third party help you with it. Then you've got the remote access via hosting. So you could set up the remote access and that helps you to, to make it more like a cloud-based system where you can basically be accessing it from different locations. M remember, that's one of the limitations of the desktop version. It's one of the b benefits as well because it might be good for security because it might be a little bit more difficult if someone gets access to like passwords or something to access the physical computer on your computer as opposed to getting your password to a cloud-based system where they can log in online but you don't have the flexibility of moving around so that remote access can can help you to set up so that you can then 
uh, move around and access your, your data uh, more easily. So you can look into that if that's something useful to you. And then of course the payroll plus adds, adds the payroll here. So you could take a look at the options there. And then on the enterprise, if you wanted to, if you needed to go up, what would make you need to go up? So let's check these up. Uh, scale from one to 40 users. So that's going to be a huge difference. So if you have a whole lot of different people that are now need access to QuickBooks and need to be working in QuickBooks at the same time, and, and based possibly have different needs or things that they're going to be accessing within QuickBooks, this would obviously be larger companies, then you would need to move up to the to the enterprise. Uh, six, six X, the capacity of Pro and Pro Plus, choose from over 200 plus report templates and build your own custom reports. So there's going to be more access to the custom reports and templates. Receive priority customer service as a priority uh, circle member. So they're going to give you better support with it as well. Advanced inventory and order fulfillment tools. That's going to be one of the big things. So there is inventory in Pro, uh, QuickBooks Pro, and we will take a look at inventory. But when you have advanced inventory needs, possibly multiple different locations and many different inventory types then you may need uh, more inventory functionality and have to move up for that reason automating pricing rules choose from preset user rules and permissions and customize for access to specific customers vendors and data so you do more customization choose from six different industry specific versions of enterprise so notice if you're like in a construction industry or something like that you have different industry specializations possibly needed like a job cost system or needing advanced uh, tracking of inventory or something like that they've got some of those specialized needs for those industries that have more specialized kind of accounting uh, needs so with enterprise diamond so now we have diamond track employee hours run payroll and connect uh, your salesforce so there you have that that's some of the added features for the enterprise again uh, when we go through our course, I recommend using the free downloadable version, which will basically be pro typically without the pro plus, uh, but you'll have the 30 day free trial. Uh, and uh, the only thing that isn't on here that that is on this pro plus is the, the app on your phone <laughs> to copy the sales receipts. So that's the thing that they're trying to enhance, entice people into pro plus. And then the best the best seller one, if you have the payroll would obviously be this option here for the pro plus. And once again, they're trying to push people from to the subscription items here. If you don't have payroll and you don't need to basically update each time, then you still might want to consider the one-time purchase down here uh, and see if you can, you know, get a get a couple years of use out of it. But if you need to update it each year, then it might be might be appropriate to use the uh, the Pro Plus up top. And again, if you're just using it for the practice to get used to the software and you want to work with the software use the free uh the free downloadable version which i hope will be updated to 2021 shortly